Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Wednesday, February 17th. I'm David Lehman and I'm the Bishop of Caledonia and I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional ancestral non-ceded territory of the Shimshan people for which we are most grateful. As we come to the end of Ash Wednesday, our service of Compline is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 722. As we are in God's presence, let us pause and be still and know that we are surrounded by his grace and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm appointed for to the, to this evening is Psalm 134, found on page 504. Psalm 134, page 504. We shall say the psalm together. Behold now, praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all ye servants, servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. The Lord that hath made heaven and earth Give thee blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Luke, beginning in the 18th chapter, at the ninth verse. Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves, that were too righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I'm not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast, oh, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Luctus Antiterminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, 
that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together we say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for the remainder of this week. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. May thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness, and from the children of light banish the deeds of darkness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petition this night for the people and places that are upon your heart, inviting you to name them aloud or to share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, for those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, for those who are at home in recovery, for those for who the journey of recovery is longer and complicated, for those awaiting test results who are at home self-isolating and anxious, 
for all who are waiting for the vaccines. We pray that God's healing hand may be upon us all and be upon those who are struggling at this time and for those who are suffering from COVID and any other number of illnesses and conditions. We pray for all who are waiting to undergo surgeries, treatments, procedures, for all who are anxious about entering into the medical system, for all who are struggling with addictions and mental health issues this night. And this night we particularly pause and pray extra for all those who work in the healing professions. We pray for doctors, nurses, therapists, technicians, for all who work in hospitals, clinics. We pray for pharmacists, dentists, for all who work in counseling centers, for social workers, for all who offer themselves to the homeless, to the needy, for those who are trying to bring a measure of God's grace and care into the lives of those who are suffering this night. We pray for all the people that we don't think about behind the scenes, those working in um, the, you know, the other departments of the hospitals and the clinics, the administrators, the policy makers, the researchers, the janitors, the, the uh, kitchen staff, those who do the sterilization of equipments and prepare ORs and such. For the many, many people who make our medical system work and for those who continue to examine the vaccines that, have, that are coming out, for those that are still um, not yet approved but are being researched, for their ongoing research after the vaccines have been administered, how people are reacting and how they are reacting to the, to the virus. And for all other medical researchers, for those who are struggling because funding was taken away to address this pandemic, for those who are adapting some of their work to try to alleviate this stress all the more, For those who are working tirelessly to keep us safe and healthy. We pray for those in the government, for those in the community leadership, those who are elected and those who volunteer. For those who lead us in the province, for those who lead us across the provinces and territories those who lead us nationally and internationally. Praying for the areas of strife and conflict in Canada and around the world. Praying that God's peace may come into those moments, into those places, into the hearts. That there may be reconciliation, forgiveness, that all may be safe, that all may know good government, and that all may be granted the freedoms that we hope that everyone has. We pray for those places in the world that we know are struggling this night, for those struggling particularly from natural disasters, praying for the people in Texas while we in Canada might not think that this weather is anything special um, when you don't know what winter tires are or that you can't or shouldn't be driving on bald tires in the snow a and you haven't prepared for anything like this. I mean, a foot and a half of snow is nothing around here, but in other parts of the world it's much. And so we pray and we pray for those families that are just trying to stay warm. They're trying to find something to eat and to drink. 
for those families struggling with the loss of loved ones and for the grace that goes before us all. We pray for those who lead us in the church, praying this night for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, for Mark McDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Melissa Skelton, our Metropolitan, for those who lead in the parishes, both clergy and lay, who all give themselves to advance the kingdom of God and to share in the mission of proclaiming God's grace and love to a world that is fragile, that is, a, that is broken, and that is very much aware of the uncertainty of life. We pray for those who are on our hearts and our minds, our families and our friends, and for those in our congregations as we offer our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick, succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the savior of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings for this evening, for those grace moments that you've experienced or heard. I am thankful this day for the chance to be the church together, though apart, on an Ash Wednesday. To be reminded of God's love in uncertain times. And to hold on to that love and grace while acknowledging my own brokenness and my own frustrations and frailties and faults, but knowing that God can work through all that and offers hope. I'm also thankful for Bishop Leslie Wheeler Dame for her consecration last year in which I was introduced to whiskey aged, whiskey barrel aged maple syrup and how that was, we didn't get around to the pancakes last night, so we had them tonight. And let me say, that that maple syrup mm, had a special charm to it. So thankful for her consecration that got me back to Whitehorse and to such an incredible find. And uh, praying that um, uh, there might be a study supply coming out of Whitehorse, please. So with your thanksgivings, we pray. O oh, merciful Father, we humbly thank Thee for all Thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify Thy holy name. But above all, we thank Thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night indeed forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed tonight. I pray that you have a most restful night. In the morning, starting at 7 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Mountain, we gather to pray again uh, with Pastor Don from St. Mark's in Dawson Creek for morning prayer. At 12.15 uh, Pacific, 1.15 Mountain, the Dean will be next door for midday prayer. And God willing, I'll be back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Mountain 
for another service of Compline. Until then, may you be filled with the life and love of the Holy Spirit. Nighty night. I'm a hoo-hoo.